here we go. Let's clean our area off before we start. Okay, we'll be back in two minutes. Our sterile field. Open that up. As best as you can. Get your surface area. Then using clean gloves, drop all of your pieces. You have your claves. We have four claves because we have a trifuse. We have our filter and our little two-way, one-way valve. We have our midline. And we have our lipid line that has the filter in there that's hidden. We have our actual trifuse that we're going to attach everything to. Then we start connecting. All the spaghetti. With the trifuse, the small one does not have a clamp, so always put the TPM in there because the TPM will always be running. You don't have to stop it. Clamp it off. Then your white can be anything, but I like to put the lipids on it because it just makes me happy. Oh, with your clave. And then, last but not least. your med line. Take your clave and add it to your 60 cc syringe. Make sure that's good and attach to your filter set. Now everything should be connected.
through and take this. This. Usually I pull quite a bit back just so there's enough to go through all of the everything. Um, and then we'll set the pump for the four hour um, volume limit. Emery, no bubbles. Always make sure that the TPN is all the way through to the end so that they're not getting just flush or just lipids for a while, depending if they're little and don't have a high rate. And then we're all done with everything. Everything's connected. Everything's pushed through. Open up the sterile two by two. Grab your end. Leave it in there. It's the basic setup for a UVC with TPN and lipids. If I had um, pressors going and I needed to, um, that were continual pressors, what I would do is run all the pressors, do all the things, have it where I wanted it, put it on the pump, let it run for 30 minutes, at the rate because that way everything is lined up with how much needs to be where it needs to be at. Um, if you just put your pressors in and connect it either they're going to get a huge bolus or they're not going to get a lot or it's very rare that you get right exactly the right amount. Um, so you're really messing with their their hemodynamic stability. Um, for this I'll just go in, I'll sterilely connect it to the baby, start the pumps at the rate that this is ordered. For the other I would let the current fluids run for the 30 minutes while this is on the pump and then switch it over in the same sterile manner.